Ah, it's time to do another one of these negative review read videos, this time about Left 4 Dead 2. I love this game, I wonder what funny, totally original things the negative reviews are gonna have to say about Doesn't have sex, can't sex the witch, cannot sex coach, no sex update, no sex minigame, no sex. Yeah, uh, what a surprise. What the heck are you doing looking for negative reviews? The game aged extremely well for 10 plus years and is still in the top 50 games on Steam. Buy this game already. Do you think these people actually think they're being helpful by doing this? Penis, sex, penis, sex, 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 it's the same thing every single time I do one of these. Don't any of you have anything unique to say? I hate Denmark. Well, I guess that's a new one. If you have strong nerves, then you can play this one big bug. Bots spawn out of thin air and jump through walls at you. The hit registration is disgusting. The gameplay itself is very boring. There's no plot at all, and all you need to do is walk along the corridor from point A to point B, and that's the whole gameplay. Okay, first of all, why are you shouting? Like, I'm right here. I can, I can hear you from here. Second of all, there's only one part of this entire rant that is a ginormous misrepresentation of what Left 4 Dead 2 is actually like. And that's the part about Hit Reg. Left 4 Dead 2 is a very old game, which means it has very old netcode. And very old netcode is, most of the time, extremely janky. Games from 10 to 15 years ago were very ambitious, but the technology of netcode had not reached their ambitions just yet. You have to aim ahead of where enemies are because of the way hit registration works, and enemy hitboxes don't track very accurately to where the character model is on your screen. It's fine for the normal zombies, but for special infected and survivors, this is a very common occurrence. You know, I'll give you that one. This is entirely caused by the game being old, but it's annoying nonetheless, even if you can explain away why it happens because the game's old. But the rest of this, the rest of this big paragraph, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just terrible. I've never once seen anything spawn out of thin air in playing the game myself or watching other people play it. Unless you're connecting to an American server from your PC set up on Mars, then this just doesn't happen. There also is a plot. It's quite noticeable if you have, you know, eyes and ears and stuff like that. The survivors talk about it all the time, and there's even writing on the walls of the safe rooms that will tell you little world-building details about what's happening in the story. And the gameplay being all about walking from point A to B while shooting stuff is just an absurd thing to say. If you look at the normal zombie hordes, then you could definitely just run through them from one place to another without really using your brain. But the thing that gives Left 4 Dead all of its depth is the special infected. If you don't coordinate with your team, a single pin from a hunter or jockey is instantaneous death. Jockeys, chargers, and smokers can pull you away from your teammates if they're not paying attention or if you're too far away from them, and you just die. Wait, you can get up the pipe here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what... Oh. Oh, oh no. Fuck my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then witches and boomers prevent you from just running around and shooting anything that moves. Don't shoot. Don't have you still got your pipe bomb? Have you still got your pipe bomb? Yeah, oh. oh my god. <laughs> I oh! 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 It's huge. Oh my fucking that god. That was a abusers. crazy play. Oh. Glitch abusers. I pushed you out the window. <laughs> There's a ton of thinking required to not get completely torn apart in Left 4 Dead 2. And on lower difficulties, you might just get away with turning your brain off. But on the higher difficulties, or against actual human opponents, just running from one place to another is just straight up a bad idea. But if you don't believe me, and you still think the game is boring, then consider the following. I leaved for died, and then I said to myself, what if there? It was chosen. Bruh in brackets. What am I doing with my life? It's just, it's just not even funny. Great game, terrible community. I've spent more time getting kicked for missing a death charge or not getting all four survivors with a boomer or spitter than I have actually playing the game. Kick Simulator 2009. So when you have an old game like Left 4 Dead 2 with a community that becomes more and more niche and insular as time goes on, this is what ends up happening. People who are far above average skill level with thousands of hours in the game think that they own the place. So if you're not instantly a god gamer like they are, you get kicked. If you don't know the meta, you get kicked. I've even been kicked for no reason before. Like, literally no reason. Like, I didn't say a word and I didn't play a single second of gameplay, I just got kicked immediately. It's definitely a slog sometimes trying to get into a match of versus mode against random players, because the community just doesn't want new players to join it for some reason. They are all exceptionally toxic, and the people who aren't toxic are typically the people who are relatively new to the game. People rage quit all the time, and people vote kick you all the time. And there's also people that just spend their entire time in the game griefing 
healing people just for fun, I guess. Constantly just spamming voice lines and spam healing people so that they can't move and trying to kill their teammates over and over. Because that's what happens when old games get abandoned by their devs. They become cesspits of lonely losers doing shit like this for fun. But hey, some games have it even worse than that, so maybe Left 4 Dead players should count themselves lucky. Oh, oh, and speaking of spamming voice commands, updated voice lines to have cooldowns. Incredibly disappointing update. Yeah, so when they released the last stand update, they made it so that this punk thing, punk, punk ass island, bit punk island. The pe that people likes to do, the, the funny thing where they spam voice lines, they made it so that you couldn't do that constantly. They made it so that these voice lines had a cooldown, which some people, the people that likes to turbo spam them, were really disappointed about. But then a little while after the update released, they reverted this change and gave people their silly wacky ha ha voice lines back anyway. So I guess all's well that ends well. I don't know. The voice line spam is exceptionally annoying. How ADHD riddled does your brain have to be to do this literally non-stop anyway? I think the real solution to voice line spam is to just give people a way to turn it off on their end so that guy can Mister, You're Mister, if one of us spam voice lines to his heart's content, I just don't have to listen to it on my end. But to my knowledge, there's no way of actually doing this in the game right now. But you know, it would be nice to have an option to at least have the guy who's constantly team killing me to have to do it quietly instead of being able to do it while spamming voice lines in my ear hole the entire time. Shameless ripoff of Back for Blood, SMH my head. No, because the Le Left 4 Dead came out sooner because it's not even like way this is clearly a joke, right? But you know the funny part of it is that the people who made Back for Blood did this to themselves because they're Turtle Rock Studios and they advertised themselves as the guys who made Left 4 Dead. But the reality is only a tiny handful of the people who worked on Back for Blood also worked on Left 4 Dead. Most of the people who worked on Left 4 Dead were people who had already been working at Valve for years before Turtle Rock even showed up. And not every single person who was initially a member of Turtle Rock Studios actually left to go make Back for Blood anyway. A more accurate tagline for Back for Blood would be from the makers of Evolve, because that's a game that they actually made without the input of anybody else. But I guess the AAA marketing machine needed them to have a really good marketing pitch for their game. So just having them constantly spout like, hey guys, remember Left 4 Dead was a good way to get people's nostalgia going and have them be on board with Back for Blood. Funny, the title of the game is also what the judge said my dad did to me and my mom. So the judge said that your dad left you and your mom for dead. Two? Bill died. It's true, Bill does die at the end of the game. But he died for a good cause, you know. You shouldn't you shouldn't have a go too much. He died so he could go be in Dead by Daylight, that other game, and he, so he could, like, get face camped by a guy with a chainsaw at five gens. You could argue it's a fate worse than death, but I don't know, he seems to like it there. Okay, last one, last one. Sus, 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 sus,